What's going on YouTube? I've got a really cool build lined up for this week. I've got a friend who is a park ranger law enforcement officer and he gave me a four page presentation on the knife that he wants. So he's got a ton of requirements for this knife and I'm not quite sure how many of them are related to his uniform standards or maybe he's just kind of one of those weird knife guys. Either way, it's gonna be a really fun build and I'm looking forward to it. So let's get to work. I was a little bit behind on this build because I kind of screwed up. I was getting a little cocky with my free hand grinding and I ground too close to one of the handle pins uh, and ruined this set of scales. So I didn't have any more Coyote Tan G10 so I had to wait for about a week to get more parts in. Uh, I picked up some more. I already cut out a new set of scales. I still need to grind them and this time I'll use a work rest to make sure that my scales are perpendicular to my grinding platen. And now we can get back to it.
This week I made a four inch field knife for a National Park Service law enforcement officer. He had a ton of requirements for this build, both the knife and the sheath, but I think I was able to check all the boxes for him. I had a little setback and ruined a pair of handle scales for this knife, but that's just part of knife making. At the end of the day we got it done, and I love how this knife turned out. The handle is Coyote Tan G10 with a single quarter inch steel pin in the center and four three millimeter pins on the ends. The steel in the handle has guards at both ends and the tail end of the handle is chamfered to serve as a glass breaker. A portion of the spine has a hard 90 degree angle so it can be used to strike a ferro rod when starting a fire. The sheath is molded kydex with a leather outer layer and instead of a belt clip 550 cord was woven through the eyelets to secure the sheath to a belt. The 550 cord can be configured for horizontal or vertical carry. If you're looking to buy any of the materials I used during this build check out the video description for some affiliate links. Be sure to check back in two weeks for my next video. Thanks for watching.